If you are struggling to stay motivated, do this. I'm going to be telling you about five steps that you can do in no particular order to stay motivated. But before we get started, you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button so you can join the family and so that I can help add value to people around the world. Number one is to get an accountability partner or get into an accountability group. I would recommend you getting with someone that you trust because their job is to make sure that you keep or have kept your commitment. So for example, say if I made a commitment to myself and my accountability group and I told them that I will work out twice a day for five days straight. And one day I really just didn't feel like working out anymore. I didn't feel like working out at all for that whole entire day. However, in the back of my mind, I know if I don't work out, I know that I meet with my accountability group every week on Fridays and today is the day that I don't feel like doing anything. I know that they're gonna ask me if I worked out like I said I was, what am I going to tell them? So that pressure, that embarrassment, that feeling you get that if I don't do what I said I was going to do, what is really and truly going to be my excuse? And also, is that excuse good enough? Number two is listening to motivational speakers. Now, when I say motivational speakers, I don't just mean anybody. I mean somebody that you can actually connect to, you actually can learn from. There are plenty of motivational speakers out here, but if it doesn't stick with you, if you just don't get that connection from them, then maybe that's not the motivational speaker you need to be listening to. For example, my favorite motivational speaker is Steve Harvey. I absolutely love Steve Harvey. I just love him so much. Like that is somebody that I can listen to. And every time I feel unmotivated, I turn him on and I just hop up like, nah, I'm about to, I'm about to get to it. I'm about to go ahead and do what I said I was going to do. I'm not about to procrastinate. So that is somebody that can get me up, lift my spirits, and just make me want to go get to the bag even though I don't even feel like doing it. You get what I'm saying? That's the type of motivational speakers you need to listen to. Number three and four is listening to audiobooks and podcasts. So once you do this, all you're going to be doing is soaking up knowledge and education. You're going to be listening to the how-to of your niche. So it helps to put on headphones, do what you got to do. Go ahead and get you a headphone set. Just get you something that you can put in your ears. If you're a mompreneur just like me, I am busy during the day with my kids. I'm doing things around the house and I just need something to put in my ears so that I can multitask. And even if you have to multitask or you're at work, if you have a nine to five, find you a podcast that you can relate to. My favorite podcast is Earn Your Leisure. I love listening to that podcast. I learn so much from just listening. I don't have to do no work just soaking up the knowledge so I can learn the how-to of my niche. Do this and it will thrust you forward times 10. Number five is to surround yourself with like-minded individuals. You really don't want to hang with someone that is not on the same mentality as you are. And I'm not saying even though your friend isn't doing what you're doing, you can't hang with them. No, I'm not saying that at all. But if your friend isn't business-minded at all and only wants to club and party and drink, then that may not be the right person you need to surround yourself with if you're trying to scale and grow your business. They cannot add value to you or elevate you with that type of mindset. Once you start surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals, you will get farther on the road that you're trying to go just by being in that circle. So those are the five steps to staying motivated. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe and join the family. See you all in my next video.